Welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. Today we are in the beautiful world of Oasis Springs building a mid-century modern inspired house or home uh, on this lot located here which is a 30 by 20 lot. Uh, the house itself took shape pretty quickly. I was toying with a bunch of different designs previously before I settled on this particular one, but I was trying like ones with like a second floor and stuff, but it didn't really work out. Uh, but this house has three bedrooms and two bathrooms, uh, which is a pretty decent sized house. Everything is all on one floor, though most of the house is on like a elevated platform. And then the living space and the kitchen is kind of on this lower level out the back of the house. Uh, which connects into a beautiful patio, which kind of wraps around to a covered portion um, off to the one side, you'll see. But uh, a lot of desert landscape and gardens, and it's just a really nice little location. There is a house here um, already. I think it's like a bluish mid-century modern type of house. Uh, much smaller than this. I think mine kind of goes back a bit further uh, than, than the original one, but... Um, I definitely wanted to do this particular style. I uh, have been wanting to for a while, and I'm actually working on one that goes well with um, the world of San Sequoia. Uh, I'm just trying to find the best location to build it on. But before I go any further, I do want to quickly talk about the Sim Summer Sale, which is going on now through Thursday, July 11th, 2024. A bunch of the packs are 20, 40, up to 60% off. I've seen it sometimes. So if you're looking for an expansion pack or a game kit or stuff pack or whatever for The Sims, uh, feel free to use my EA creator code. It's just the Simified. Here are some instructions on how to do that really quick. Uh, but you don't even have to use my code. Basically what it does is it gets me a 5% commission on any sale and it supports me as a creator. But again, don't feel forced to use it. You're like You don't have to use my code. You can use anybody's code. Just use somebody's code if you happen to be shopping during the Sim Summer Sale on a lot of the different um, packs and stuff that are up for grabs. Uh, so anyway, back to the build. Um, I went for an orangey red color exterior with um, growing together like a darker wood. We used eco lifestyle doors and windows and then the Desert Lux open patio doors on the back of the house. Uh, I went for black. I did think about like white and the red, but I kind of like the black more. It's such a contrast of colors that it actually works quite well I think. Uh, we use some Desert Lux um, concrete on the like what will become the kitchen and the main living space and then out the back is a slightly different shade as well as out the front uh, as well. So yeah as far as this build it is available on the Sims 4 gallery here it's the gallery listing. Uh, again it's three beds two baths 30 by 20. 70,898 or like 74,000 if you factor in like the lot value of this particular location. And I only used 11 packs in total. Uh, right off the top of my head, I know I used um, Growing Together. Um, what's the other one? <laughs> Dream Home Decorator, uh, Desert Lux, Eco Lifestyle. Um, yeah, a couple of different packs, but not nearly as many as there are for the entire game. Uh, so it's not a limited pack build and by no means is it like super budget friendly, but it's not also like hundreds of thousands of simoleons either, you know, 74,000 for a decent size, you know, three bedroom, two bath desert home is actually pretty good, I think. Uh, the kitchen is taking shape. Um, we do a long island down the middle, and then I tuck some lighting up underneath these cabinets to kind of create some down lighting. You don't actually see them or anything like that, but I just thought it was something nice to do to kind of light up the kitchen a little more because it was kind of weird in that corner over there. Like I had lighting above like a spotlight, but it was casting like a weird shadow. So it kind of got rid of that in a way. So uh, living space going together. I use book nook. Uh, for the um, sofa and chairs and more dream home decorator to create like a built-in uh, storage system. It's fake storage, obviously, underneath the TV. Uh, and then I'm deciding on coffee tables, but I do go back to this particular one and I kind of like stack them together. I don't put anything on them. Um, it's mainly just for your Sims to... Oh, actually, maybe I did. 
Yeah, I did. I did put this little potted plant on there. <laughs> Never mind. I take that back. I did put something on there. I thought I'd put that over by the TV, but I put the cactus over there. So that's right. And then I did some other little clutter over here, but not much. I wanted to keep it kind of minimal and clean, uh, not too overly cluttered. I was able to get the pillows from the login reward item. The only two things that I wasn't able to get from the whole login rewards thing was the new trait and then the vending machine, which is a bummer. I would have really wanted to have the vending machine, but I know I can grab it from the gallery. Like somebody probably shared it in like a room or something. So you can use it that way because it's like still in your game if you happen to not get any of the login um, event items. But I did get the pillows on like the very last day. Like I think I had like 10 hours left and that was like the last thing I could claim. And I was like, yes, I got the pillows because I do utilize them in the one bedroom here, which I think is my absolute favorite bedroom out of this house. And when we get to it, I'll tell you why, but I'll give you a little hint. It's the colors. The colors of it are just very nice. And it's not something I don't think I've ever done before. Maybe I have, but I don't know. They just, everything just flowed so well in that bedroom. This is the primary bedroom going together now. We went for like a greenish turquoise color, trying to match the tones from like the um, dining room table you see there. And just some of the little like turquoisey details throughout the house. Um, I even went so as far as to put a built-in wardrobe over here. And then like the clothing has like a turquoisey kind of thing. So I imagine that the owners really like the color. So that was kind of like I'm kind of tying it all together. At least in the primary spaces. And then like the main um, bathroom that you saw. I used the um, growing together um, like wall tile which I really really love that the herringbone like subway tile sometimes that pattern can be a little busy um but I don't know I, I wanted to use that particular color and I think it works well because I might mix it with black when we get to that but uh, we're using desert Lux curtains I use them in all of the bedrooms throughout the space just in different color swatches uh just because I just liked how they looked and how they went together uh with everything and the colors were not like a one-to-one -one match of everything, but it went well with the overall style of all the rooms. So I didn't feel like I had to use anything uh, different. I was trying to decide on like trying to stack different storage in here, but then it just wasn't working. So we get rid of that. Uh, building a custom vanity here now, just trying to figure out the base sink. And then I use some kitchen cabinetry and just slowly alt place them into place by holding the alt key down. You can kind of move stuff off the grid. I also tuck some lights up underneath them uh, to create like a downward glow. You don't see them again as well, but uh, it kind of like lights up underneath the vanity. It's nothing like you would see in like a, like a, like real life, you know, like where you can have like LED strips or anything, but it's just to create some lighting. I do change the orientation of this bathroom around a little bit. I was going to put the um, shower in that corner and then kind of have the toilet in between I do duplicate the windows here and it just seemed weird to have the toilet in between there. So we move the shower over, but then I don't even think that's the final resting place. This is the final resting place because then I slot in a full uh, bathtub. That way your Sims can kind of have a bubble bath or soak or whatever they want to do. I went for the white herringbone subway tile and a wood accent wall, which is the same that's used on the exterior, but also the accent wall in the primary bedroom as well. And I just really love how this bathroom turned out. It's really nice, I think. I like the colors in here. It kind of went more white and wood as opposed to like turquoise, just to kind of break it up a little bit. And then this is the main uh, hallway bath or the basically the second bathroom of the house. Uh, that your guests would use or the other bedrooms making a custom vanity here as well using alt placed cabinetry i left it kind of off centered uh, so that way there's this little tiny ledge where i can place a little bit of clutter on so we're using a dream home decorator shelf to kind of allow that stuff to kind of snap i did size it down using the bracket keys uh, at least the little like jars there but um, everything else is normal size and the vanity is fully functional. It doesn't really get in the way or hinder anything, but it makes it look really cool too. It makes it look pretty custom. Uh, just something I've been loving doing lately is just that, like creating custom vanities <laughs> with cabinets. I don't know why. It looks really cool though. Um, uh, I was worried about it being like non-functional, but it is actually fully functional. I didn't have an issue. So this is the one of the other bedrooms. This is like a 
hybrid nursery slash toddler's room. So that way, if you do have like a, a baby or a toddler or whatever uh, moving in, you have a space for them. Um, and that's something I've been meaning to include. I did put a high chair in as well out in the kitchen um, and a bunch of little toys and kids related objects in here because again, it is going to be a kid's room. Uh, I do change out the color of the high chair because I found one that had like a slight turquoisey color and I thought that's perfect. Keep that in the main living space. Um, and then we're doing the curtains here and I thought it was pretty cool to mix that like balloon decal, the hot air balloons with like the car thing. That's actually a shelf. Um, there's a couple of different swatches for that, but I thought the little car was so cute, a little blue car there. And we do these lower, um, end tables or side tables cause they're kind of made for the height of this bed. It took me forever to find them. I know they they exist. Um, and this is more of like a soft blue, dark blue kind of bedroom in here. I just thought it was very nice and it's neutral because like a baby could, you could use any color for like a, a baby or a toddler. Like it doesn't matter. And now we're onto my favorite room. Well, once I place this clutter, but, um, so this one, the primary colors end up being like this navy blue and yellow. Uh, we do get rid of that soccer ball lamp. I tend to use that quite a bit in bedrooms and I'm like, eh, let's get rid of that and use something else. And white, white in here. But when the light, when we get to the screenshots, especially when the light comes through the front windows at a certain time of day, it's just really pretty in here. I don't know. It just creates like this really interesting shadow. And I went for like this pastel -y bright yellow and then like a softer blue, but it's a little, a little more on the darker side. Uh, and then just white furniture and it just goes so well together. I use the fishbowl, which is something I forget to use quite a bit. I mean, they're not really that fun personally. It's not like a full on aquarium or anything, but it's something that I was like, oh, I never really used that. So let's use that in this build. And then I was able to use the new login reward pillows. They're just decorative, but it was perfect because they had a navy blue swatch, yellow, and then white. So I, I sized up the one pillow a bit larger to kind of like put on the back, like your sim could kind of, you know, lay on there. They really can't, but just, you know, it's realism, realistic kind of purposes, like a, like a cozy little corner uh, and just cluttering up with uh, some related like office things and, and other teenage related items. Um, and then out here I do put in two sitting chairs, kind of like a little chatting space by the front entrance, but I mainly keep it open. I actually did think about like an area rug out here, but it didn't really need it. I do put a rug underneath the dining room table and then I do put one underneath like the front door. Um, but beyond that, I, I just wanted to keep the flow between like the bedroom doors and bathroom and stuff just kind of open and clear. So we do that. Um, and I just really love how this house turned out. I hope you do as well. If you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new uh, and happen to be watching this video. Um, I do make speed builds uh, for The Sims 4 about once a week uh, on my channel here from community lots to houses to um, a bunch of different things, apartments, you name it. I kind of build it. <laughs> if it's possible, I kind of build it. Let's put it that way within the limits of the game. Uh, now we're doing some exterior lighting and we're almost to the end. I just kind of lit up around the different spots. Um, and um, we do come back with some desert landscaping like cactuses and palm trees. And um, I don't think I used any rocks, but I did use sand. Uh, as like the terrain paint underneath all of the gardens and this like overhanging black like awning thing off the back was actually from Desert Lux and it comes in a bunch of different swatches but I thought black was pretty cool uh, to use so yeah um, just trying to decide on trees now and I matched and found the palm trees that kind of surround the lot in the world and we're grabbing a whole bunch of debug um, landscaping because again that is the best because it comes from the oasis spring world itself out here i also find a like wall it's like a sandish creamy color like retaining wall and i kind of put that up where the seating area is to create some kind of privacy i don't like cover the whole backyard in it i just wanted like privacy around the side uh where your sims can kind of just chill in the shade uh, so I thought the wall was kind of a nice addition. Just trying to find other like flowers and plants to kind of tuck in there because I didn't want it to all be like green cactuses and stuff. I did want a little bit of color, but not too much color. 
and I wanted it to kind of feel like this house was always here. So yeah, we do put a palm tree in a garden planter and then um, I do put uh, some more like flowers and a cactus in this one. Uh, but again, if you want to like garden in them, you could just remove those flowers and plants that I placed in there. But this is the retaining wall going in. This is just a bug fence from the world itself of Oasis Springs. And I just thought it worked so well with just the whole style of the build. So I thought I would include a panel there just for a little bit more privacy. I did think about rocks in there, but then like all of the uh, cactuses and other kind of shrubs were clipping the rocks and I don't really like how that looks I'm like yeah no not today not today so <laughs> uh, yeah we're just doing the terrain painting now which again I went for like a, I think it's called sun-kissed sand so it's not exactly like the orangey tone you see surrounding the lot but um, it's like a nice light sandy color uh, kind of almost golden I guess is the best way to describe it but I think it works so well and this is absolutely beautiful this house is called desert mod i don't believe i said the name but yeah it's available on the sims 4 gallery uh, my eid is just the simified if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to use my creator code if you happen to shop the sim summer sale uh through july 11th 2024 and if you happen to pre-order the new expansion pack you can also use it there as well but again, you don't have to, totally up to you, but I do thank you for your support if you do decide to use it, uh, or at least use someone's, <laughs> someone else's would be cool too. Uh, but anyway, this is the living space, and uh, this is the kitchen. I really like how it turned out. This is the view from the island there. There is a dishwasher there uh, as well, kind of tucked in there. This is the primary bedroom, and then we have the... Um, another view of the primary bedroom, and then there's the little wardrobe area. Uh, you can see the green clothing there too. Uh, and then we have the primary bathroom, which is a full bath, shower, tub, uh, and then the vanities there. And then we have the hallway bath. And then we go into the other bedrooms, which is like the uh, nursery, toddler, and ignore the sim there. I tried to move her out, but she was like stuck and she just wouldn't move. I reset her and everything. And I tried to get her to go outside, but she just refused. She just like stood there frozen. And I'm like, hello, you going to do anything? So I just, whatever. I let her go. I let her stand there and be a weirdo in the screenshots. But anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this speed build. Um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. And I do thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.